Well, uh, how your third week out here in the boonies? How you like this? Hot the couch? Yeah, that's an upgrade. Yeah, definitely an upgrade. I was I was driving back, um, and I From? saw. Uh, well, I was I was I was scouting out to see if there are any arcade bars around here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but there weren't too many. I was surprised. No. But I, I saw this uh, on the side of the road. Um, it's actually. There's a dude standing next to it, and he says, slap me and take the couch. Really? Yeah. Slap me? Yeah. Like a free slap? Yeah. And I said, do I have to? Can I just take the couch? He's like, nope. Got to gotta lay it on. And I smacked him clean, and then we loaded the couch in the truck, and we came here. I thought it was going to be like one of those TikToks where it's like the uh, people are like, you know, fucking get a stick of butter and do like a river dance, and you win like a prize or something like that. You know those TikToks? No. <laughs> What, what the fuck? People are standing on like a algorithm. Like, are you on? Yeah. yeah, all sorts of weird shit. Apparently, but the like on a college campus, a guy will be standing there with like a sign. They won't talk, and people read the sign. They're like, "Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back." And then they run off, and you see them like come back, stick a butter. They're like, "Do whatever." Oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen those. I thought you were going into that kind nah. of route of like. So that's unfortunate that you couldn't be a part of a viral trend. No, mm. no, no. This guy is just a freak. <laughs> it's weird that you, on the side of the road you found such a clean couch. That's what makes That's, me it, it very, appears very clean. But I, I do feel like we should blacklight it. I feel like that would mm. that would expose yeah. probably a lot more. It blinds your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, just, just, yeah it looks white. clean, mm-hmm. but it's completely soaked in cum, one hundred percent. So we got yeah, it's pretty crunchy. No, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's supposed to be crunchy. I got socks Came like that this. way from the from the factory. So there wasn't any. Arcade bars. No, there wasn't. I was. Yes, yeah, gonna come, dude. Yeah. No Chuck E. Cheese's or anything. No. Hmm. Which you know, by the way, we didn't get to talk about this in person. Power play in okay. Kansas City. I'm surprised you've never been there. It must be new. There's no way. It looked old as fuck in there. Okay, dude. That's probably just local Midwest business. Do you live in Kansas City? Yes. Well, maybe he just hasn't been to every single place in Kansas City. No, you don't. It's pretty big. Where do you live? Why the fuck would I tell you that? You live in Texas. You're in my. You live in Texas. You're on my barn. This is where I live, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I live in this hellish fucking cartoon landscape. Where are we right now? Where are you're in? Uh, where, where did we crash land? Even I don't even know. I know it's, it's like, like it's like uh, it's point. like halfway in between Billings, Montana, and like Space Jam Land. <laughs> That yeah. that's what that's what the fuck this is. Yeah, it's like, clearly. Okay. It's like kind of fun, but it's also kind of not. Yeah. It's like, and so it's like you guys being trapped here. It must be an inconvenience, but I I live here literally. So. Yeah. Have you done any work on the ship? A lot. Okay, that's good. And what have you A done? Lot. Curtains. In the in the ship. In the ship and outside the ship. <laughs> you have interior mm-hmm. and, exterior and exterior curtains yeah. that you've installed. I've been watching a lot of home television. Oh. HTV is that what it is? H. H G T H G T Oh Home and Garden Television. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have you noticed that on that channel there's always a pair of twin brothers yeah. that are like fixing things? Yeah. It's kinda weird. I didn't know that that was what evolution planned for. Yeah. Twins. A, a typecasting. You're gonna be great at it. interior yeah. or exterior design. Yeah. <laughs> and they're always like seven feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> always has to be kind of strange. And real estate agents too. Why do they come in t- pairs as well? Twins. Yeah. I don't know. You a big HGTV fan? I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really enjoy it. That's why his curtains at home suck. All right. Mm. Well, Dude, I, I wanted to talk about power yeah, play. Yeah, speaking because, of calm, let's oh, talk yeah, about go power ahead. play. Let's talk about power play. Oh, it, to me, I would have thought you'd have been like, oh, yeah, I grew up here because all the art on the walls of that place looks like, like shit that you would come up with. This... Yeah, that Dude, is pretty dope. This is in the center of it. They <laughs> have a carousel and a funnel cake um, booth. Look at, that. look at that. Hot dogs. Damn, that's the... sick. Yeah. This does look like a monster truck rally or something like that. Dead center. I've never been there. Uh, cycle through. See if there's yeah, any dude, pictures of like the your art. spot, dude. Funnel cakes? Funnel cakes. Hot dogs. Yeah. Pretzels. Corn dogs. <clears throat> 
I go inside just to eat dinner if I play. <laughs> and I leave. I, I don't want any games. I just want the food. Yeah. Pizza looks pretty, I mean, not as fucked up as Chuck E. Cheese's for sure. It's pretty good. So on all over the walls, they have these crazy ass paintings. They're like, oh, I've seen that place. I've seen the outside of it. There's never anyone in the parking lot. That's probably why I've never been inside. Yeah, it looks abandoned, dude. <laughs> oh, it's not. It get it Was goes it packed. It goes off at Power Play. Yeah, right. On a Saturday. Yeah, we okay. should go. It's actually wild. Okay. Because we went there Saturday before one of my shows, and we were for sure like, ah, oh, we should be able to pop in for an hour, just to fuck around, hit the go karts. There's a two and a half hour wait to get on the go karts. We could not believe it. Must be a popping place. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like at first you were making it. That's pretty horrifying. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that is, dude. <laughs> They're like going to a prop designer. They're like, it's a big monkey. Yeah, it's red, <laughs> and he has like a fishing outfit on. <laughs> How tall is it? Twelve feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's made of stone. Dude. We're gonna chip away at it every day until one of the arms falls off and crushes a child. <laughs> There's a wall of of sea animals, and they all have human faces. But I love that, dude. But they're not human faces like Thomas the Tank Engine, where they're sort of endearing. They all look like like sixty five year old uh, like hot rod enthusiasts. Like, it's all of the uh, it's all of the grandparents that neglected their children at power play. Yeah. They steal their soul, and it's like the essence. It's like a fucking like soul tree or something like that, dude. So their face, you just like a dolphin just appears on the wall, and it's like a human face, that person's face, and they're trapped there forever. <laughs> I need to find a picture of this because I think you're joking, but I'm not even laughing because that's actually how it felt in there. It felt creepy. I thought that you were gonna say power play was like you know like the the new hip like hipster bars. It's meant for like for nerds to go out and drink like one beer. Yeah, a barcade. It's really fucking loud. Yeah, yeah, okay. A barcade. Like in New York? Or anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, they're yeah, everywhere yeah. now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I went to one in New York. That's why I said like in New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> I went to one like two weeks ago. It's and my, such, it, my it, fucking friend, the guy, the bouncer, kicked my friend out because he had a jewel and he vaped. And he kicked him out. And I was like, hey, man. Could, Not here. Yeah, can I get my friend back in? He said, look at the sign, dude. And it said, no vaping. And I was like, oh, but I mean, maybe he didn't see the sign. Can we like, can you give him a warning? He goes, dude, it's Saturday. No warnings on Saturdays. I'm like, no warnings on Saturdays. That's a, you have a no that's warning a rule answer. on Saturdays? That's a great No answer. warnings. And I was like, if it was any other day, even Sunday, if it was 24 we do, hours later, yeah, we, wait, wait, we do two warnings on Sundays. It is actually, it's a very lenient day on Sunday. Wait, yeah, we actually smoke crack Lord. on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> we don't vape, but we do smoke crack and we uh, we do all sorts of crazy things. And I was like, I just think barcades are the, the worst mix of. It's like alcoholic culture and nerd culture come together, yeah. and it's the worst of both sides. Yeah, it is. Of like an really annoying awesome. loud bar that you can't hear anybody, and then it's just like crowded and just sweaty. Yeah, people that are annoying about booze too, because it's it's most often like a craft beer. Like they have like fifty taps. Yeah, like, I mean, that's the that's the problem. Is you go in there and some guys like, you know, some big fat fuck is playing the Simpsons game. Yeah. And you hear some guy yelling, what IPAs do you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like fucking screaming over each other. <laughs> it's the type of guy that'll drink one beer over the course of like two hours. It's so warm. And play pinball the whole time. It's the warmest and, beer like, imaginable. There's nothing, nothing worse than a warm IPA. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. It just tastes like fucking piss. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So this is the this is the wall. Yeah. At What's it called again? Power play. That's so f- fucking scary. That's sweet, dude. A little cat. Yo, look at free, that. Freeze, freeze frame on that cat in that, in that, in that uh, submarine. That's a cool cat. <laughs> creepy. Look look that cat. Super creepy. Fish. He's thinking about eating the shit out of that fish. He's like, eating. what's down here? Yeah. That, 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 fish, that fish has a totally different sense of what's going on here. <laughs> that cat looks horned up, yeah, man. Yeah, dude, it wants to fucking... It wants to eat that. It's going okay, to eat that hey, thing this is, out. This is the exactly... <laughs> <Come> on, man. <laughs> this is the same face Ted Bundy made before... Before what? Violently murdering people. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. that, that's what that that did happen, huh? Yeah. With old Ted. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, dude. That seems like one of those cats too that have one of the, like the putrid oh. meows. Look at the octopus. I'm saying that's cute. <laughs> How is that cute? Hey, he's a cute little guy. Well, so when Hello. You, when you said someone's neglectful grandfather's soul being stuck in there, like that's the face. <laughs> He seems too happy about it. I, what if they're, you know, it'd be 10 times more terrifying if they were all like frowny or they were just like emotionless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> <a straight face. laughs> Literally. That would be so much 
so much more haunting. Yeah. Are they all like True. mopey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are they having fun? Doesn't look like it. I feel like they're the janitors. Like they, like, of course, they're not having fun. <laughs> They've been in there for thirty-five <laughs> years. They've been here for a long time. <laughs> Who are you, Mitchell, the janitor? <laughs> I know about these pods. I don't fucking know. And then, then, then you go to the front desk and you ask about Mitchell because one of the Mitchell the oct- died five years ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The octopus talks to you, and you're like, "Yeah, <laughs> hi. Has anyone seen Mitchell? Mitchell." Who's Mitchell? <laughs> He's the janitor. And Power the doesn't have a janitor. We don't have a janitor here. Look at how fucking dirty it is. Have you not seen all of the, the fucking, it's like a big, the, the thing to do at Power Play is just eat all the pizza but throw your crust on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> it's just crust all over the floor. <laughs> have you not seen the crust? We pride ourselves on the crust on the floor. <laughs> Why would we clean up the crust? That's our selling thing. It's the way we sell this place is with the crust on the floor. <laughs> Dude. I'm just imagining that there was a, like a, like a drug addict just walking around the front of Power Play, mm. and they just caught him doing some art one day, and they're like, "Hey man, what if we give you a hundred bucks? You want to just, genius. you want to just cover the walls with whatever the fuck you got going on here?" And he's like, "Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> this." Do you, how? Okay, well, if that's the case, I would be so satisfied if I walked back and like some fucking weird tweaker guy was just. Painted that up, I'd be like, "Oh my god, this yeah. is incredible!" Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you nice so work. much. Yeah, the the yellow fish—they're all barred the fuck out. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, no idea what's going on. Yeah, I'm still that guy, that on one on the cat. back's on a per thirty for sure. <laughs> I like the submarine cat a lot. <laughs> I was gonna, I was going to say this the, is the, the, the cat feels like a cat that makes those like putrid meows. No, that cat is a predator. You know, you know, like whenever you have like a you, well, you, you, you'll learn. You got some kittens now, but the cats sometimes when. You, bad cats, I say. Bad kitties. They yeah. when they're outside of a door, they do like they don't, they, don't, they, they don't do meow. And they pop the door. It's like <laughs> <laughs> that's how that cat makes <laughs> all day alone in that submarine <laughs> down in the ocean. Do it again. What is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck is, like, what is wrong? I say that to my wife sometimes. I'm like, why is the cat making that sound? He just wants attention. I'm like, fuck's sakes. It's a, it's a bad pussy. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, yeah it's, a, it's true. It's a bad way to get it. That's, that, that is true. I was going to say, you said bad kitty. You got to be careful talking like that. Why is that? You might brick some people up listening to this. Are, are you bricked up with those uh, tiny ass shorts? Yeah, I am. <laughs> hey, man, these are, you gave these to me. I've been seeing some movement left and right over there, and I'm I'm concerned. I've been tell. I told you just shred my shorts a little bit. You were like, I got this. I'm like, okay. You kept complaining about the heat. Yeah. Well, it gets it's muggy so out hot. here. So you kept saying, "This is Midwest." Is it always this humid? Yeah. <laughs> it was you every day. Yeah. We've been here. Mm. It's sweating the backs of my kneecaps. <laughs> yeah, is what I just said. Just a pocket of moisture in the back of your yeah. knees. <laughs> every <laughs> time you, uh, every time you extend your leg, it just a, a fucking big droplet of water just <laughs> <laughs> drops out. Well, I I brought up power play because mm. it's also relevant. Because okay, first of all, I didn't get to say that art extends into the bathroom. So when you're oh, taking geez. a piss, there's like weird ass animal faces, yeah, eyes looking at you. And I, unlike you know, unlike these other stupid barcades where it's just like, ooh, it's fun, we're drunk and playing game. Mm. Power play feels like you can, you don't even need alcohol. You just might like eat eat two churros and you're like, oh, I'm feeling kind of weird. And then you walk yourself back, you know, after drinking a triple X Diet Coke, you go take a piss. And as you're walking to take the piss, the hallway gets longer, the animals start talking to you. By the time you actually stand in front of the yeah. urinal. I, I, I see, I think that, I think that you're mistaken because I think that you say you don't need alcohol. I think that you desperately need alcohol to survive power play. <laughs> well, the, I, I guess it's Kansas City. The, the bar, already the bar, on drugs going in there. It's but. true. <laughs> the, 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 the barcades, at least, it's just like, oh, I, oh th- th- this is the worst fucking thing I hear at like an up-down yeah. or like a barcade. It's maybe you see, hear a guy and they're just like, oh, dude, I haven't played this since I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All the time. Oh, dude, Michael, <laughs> Mike, like yelling out and shit. And you're like, oh, God. And the, and the, he's like, dude. It's a fucking effect. Galaga, what the fuck? I heard a guy say about pinball. Yeah. Who actually likes pinball machines? Like, I like I like the like I like the aesthetic of pinballs. You like pinball machines? Like this shit? 
Like that shit? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah right? Like this bad little kitty. What button right? are you pressing? Like that? that? <laughs> yeah. Bad kitty. <laughs> this is how yeah. you play pinball, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, and you're like, you don't ever actually look at the machine. You're just yeah. looking at every <laughs> single woman that passes. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, look how fast I'm flicking the fucking thing. <laughs> no, you're Can fucking... you even see? Does it just look like a blur? <laughs> you yeah. got your hey! arm down, down there. <laughs> Does it look like a blur? <laughs> yeah. You got your arm over the top on the button. You're like, hey. Oh God! <laughs> Spitting on the knobs and shit. <laughs> Just fucking <laughs> <laughs> jerking off the <laughs> spring knob. <laughs> Sir, we you have Looking to leave. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we've been closed for two hours. We let you stay up here two hours after we've been cleaning up and stuff, but you have to go home now. I'm not finished my. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put this in the microwave? <laughs> I actually want it to be hotter than what it is right now. <laughs> hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Rocket Money. Are you mm-hmm. wasting money on subscriptions? 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. Maybe for you, it's an unused Amazon Prime account or a Hulu account that never gets streamed. There's this great app I use that helps me track all my expenses. And because of it, I no longer waste money on subscriptions I don't even use. You might have heard of it. It's called Rocket Money. I just mentioned it at the top of this. Formerly known as Truebill. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost? Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions when the total is closer to 200 That's right. You could be wasting hundreds of dollars each month on subscriptions. You didn't even know about them. I just looked mine up. $47,000 a month. That's insane. And just on OnlyFans. Wow. Yeah. So. Jeez. Yeah. But hey, support your favorite creators, right? Mm Mm-hmm. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. So you'd probably want to cancel your Hulu. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. I never use that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash meatlocker. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash meatlocker. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com dot com slash meat locker but yeah no i uh god damn anyway so i was just trying to say that when you when you take a second look at everything in there you're like it's kind of creepy right okay let's read this scary ass yeah i was gonna say there there's like a supposedly this urban legend about a uh killer arcade machine that drives you insane oh power play well it could be a power play mm. is where i was going with it why don't you tell us about this all right, so <laughs> the story, as it's told, normally begins in Portland. Uh, it's already a bad story. <laughs> normally begins in Portland? Uh, yeah, I think it's saying it starts out normally in Portland. Oh, okay. Weird way of phrasing it. In the early 1980s, it involves crazy lines spurred by feverish word of mouth uh, from local arcade gamers, and many of those gamers end up addicted, sick, and plagued by nightmares. Some tellers even lack of sleep, sleep. bad diet, yeah. <laughs> lack of social skills, too many yeah. IPAs, yeah, <laughs> and warm IPAs. Go ahead, yeah. sorry, go ahead. Some tellers even sprinkle in reports of the game wiping people's memory. No, dude, that's like the literal memory when they reset the machine. Nice. All right, or even driving players to commit suicide. Okay. Dude, maybe you're just fucking trash at the game. Yeah. You ever think of that? <laughs> Is this Call of Duty? Like <laughs> <laughs> the game was Modern Warfare Two. <laughs> all right this is um oh god the next paragraph yeah that's just for starters (laughs) the myth of polybius polybius that was the game polybius polybius would have you believe that it was actually operated by the cia what did i tell you dude yeah they're behind everything or the cia working with atari or a company called uh what the fuck is this? Citroen? No Slushen. Schlitterbahn. <laughs> the water park company <laughs> got involved. <laughs> CIA working with Atari or a company called Sena S- Slushen. Sena Slushen. Which may have been German. Ooh. Hello, CIA and Atari. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll was just... that a German accent? I can't tell. Yeah. Okay. That, it... that was great. All right. Um which may have been German or may have been the U.S. government. 
<laughs> Apparently, men in black would collect data from the machines from time to time. Get this is stupid. Get, yeah. What? <laughs> Come this on, man. What fucking fantasy? Who wrote this? Well, I just love the idea of the CIA working with Atari. Hello, Atari. Thank you for meeting with us. Yes. It's like sitting down and acting like we want to make people kill themselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what do you say we do? A what is different what, kind of? Game? What is an extremely small market right now? In whatever year? What year was this? Nineteen eighty. In nineteen eighty. No, no, no. I, I, I could see the CIA actually wanting to do this. Why? They, you know, just, just Chad mentality. Just drive by a arcade bar and they're like. Please. Do you think that they even know what gamers are yet? Though that's like so new, to like, uh, like is it has that uh, stigma been formed yet? I guess I think so. Have you seen like those old videos of those guys getting like, you know, jerked off? Yeah, records on Donkey Kong and <laughs> like who's that famous guy who like cheated all his high school? Oh, I don't know. He always wears the American flag tie. Yeah, I th- I'm pretty sure he was around in the '80s. He definitely was, yeah. But gamer wasn't a like. But I just mean like, so, if someone's just like these goddamn gamers, and they're like fucking like, I'm gonna go see Top Gun again in the theater. I'll be yeah. back. Like, I don't think that that was like a real kind. Of, <laughs> this is a speed run guy. Yeah, that's the that's the guy who cheated, and did all that shit. He cheated. He's like a yeah. famous because uh, yeah, people would like Billy fuck Mitchell. with the gaming boards. Oh right, Billy Mitchell. No, uh, get a bunch of records, right? <laughs> it's like it, they, gamer. It's you, pretty funny they have it. Like it's like a convict, yeah. Billy Mitchell gamer <laughs> he rose to national prominence in the 1980s well yeah well, the one but it's just like that but that must have been like oh billy mitchell yeah that's that guy that does game like i don't think it was as collected as like oh we're gamers yeah, i'll be like man. billy mitchell when i grow up when life included him in a photo spread of game champions that's what they were called game game champions. i was i was about to say they probably didn't call him gamers they probably had some uh, like stupid older name for them like it wasn't you know it was like a you know, like some scientific shit where it's super long. You know, get like game champion enjoyer or game champion engager, you know, something. And then over the years, it became gamer. Listen, Mom, I'm a game champion enjoyer. Yeah. I didn't raise no goddamn game champion enjoyer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your father's going to be livid. Hurry, put your he put your sixty to... pound computer away <laughs> yeah. before your father catches you. Yeah. And then when he tries to go to football practice, <laughs> that's to... his dream, not my dream. <laughs> lift... I want to be a game enjoyer champion. <laughs> then he tried to lift the machine and take it to the garage, and he was too weak. And his dad was like, "See, this is why you'll never be a football player because you're too busy trying to be a game champion enjoyer." <laughs> Then they started. You'll doing, never be Billy Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. you will never be Billy Mitchell. Let Starts him. tearing down the posters of Billy Mitchell in his room. <laughs> this isn't you. Uh, you're yeah, gonna work at the spaghetti. Uh, the, you're gonna work at the spaghetti factory, just like the rest of us. <laughs> what? Yeah. They start doing. They start doing. P- that's, that's their family business. Yeah. No, just like we yeah, started like, that. No, we didn't. They just did the. No, you're just, heir to the spaghetti factory <laughs> fortune. They've been working at the line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're line cooks. No, no, like, dude, just, like, like in a factory. Like His parents loved him. He doesn't know what factory workers uh, are. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> Except the time that his mom or his dad beat the shit out of him. Uh, yeah. That didn't happen. That's not real. That was a <laughs> fictional story. You showed me the pictures of her black eyes, and I stop. That was crazy. <laughs> it's a fictional story. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's about as factory worker as it got in Cody's family. <laughs> <laughs> now we did this because we needed you to know what it was like having factory worker <laughs> parents. parents. <laughs> now that this will now your world experience will be complete when you become a podcaster and. 15 years. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. You're saying spaghetti factory like the actual factory? Yes, where yes. they make spaghetti. <laughs> See, this is... Why is there a restaurant also called the spaghetti factory? Is it called this? I've never heard of that before. There is a spaghetti I've factory. I've heard of Noodles it's & Company. It's famous as fuck, is it not? Yeah. It's everywhere. <laughs> nice, dude. You heard of heard what? Noodles & Company? Nice. It is, fam- it is famous, but, you know... Where's the spaghetti factory? Where I got a noodle them? you could accompany. Come on, man. The old spaghetti factory. The old spaghetti. This shit smacks. I've never heard of that before. Oh my is this God. like a California thing? Portland, mm. Oregon. No, there's one in St. Louis. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, there is. It, look at it. Based in Portland. You think that's a oh, coincidence? Oh. oh. That's a little creepy. Nice. Nice tag, dude. You knew that, the right? Because we're joking about the family being in Portland. I really, you, I really, yes. really hate that it, you have to have the old in there as well. The old spaghetti factory. The old 
The old spaghetti factory. <laughs> also, I, if you have a name like that, do not serve anything else besides a plate of spaghetti. Yeah. That is all you get to serve. Yeah. Well, we have some cheeseburgers. It's like, take that <laughs> shit off the menu. It's literally like, we have one plate of spaghetti, one sauce, and you might get some bread. Yeah. You might. Well, it wouldn't be garlic. It's just like we have some fucking like Wonder Bread. We might give you just like one that you can, you know. That was Billy Mitchell's diet, dude. Yeah. Billy, <laughs> Billy Mitchell went to the old spaghetti factory every day and the trade up for Donkey Kong and Pac Man. Dude, I was going to say, they, I bet you they had like weird like anti gamer PSAs and like sex head. So, like, first thing you need to know Do you want to be an absolute <laughs> fucking loser? <laughs> no, it's, uh, then go to the arcade. No, it was, it was more subtle and way more condescending. Okay. <clears throat> You might know this as an Atari machine. You might know someone that plays them. They call themselves game champion enjoyers. (laughs) He's been slobbering and dribbling all over this keyboard for the past four hours. (laughs) Doing nothing but eating peanut butter straight from the jar with his hands. Do you want this to be? He's like smoking a cigarette during the ad as well. Puts it on the kid's forehead. He's like, ah. (laughs) If you know any game champion enjoyers, report them to an adult immediately. That or drown them in your local pond. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to see this game that supposedly the CIA developed. I was going to say, I thought this was like going to be- Polybius. So, some that's weird, a great name. Almost like Morbius. Polybus. I thought it was going to be some weird Chad thing, you know, where this, or that's what I was envisioning. Like, you know, the CIA's like, look at these fucking nerds. We have to take them out. Yeah. You know? All right, let this rip. Sick visual. Anybody feel like killing themselves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a sudden urge to. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> this is not real. This was definitely made like three years ago. Is this footage from the actual game or is this just like the intro? This was made three years ago with stock footage. I, like, yes. This is supposedly footage from the actual game. What's the game? You just kill yourself. That's the game. Yeah. There's like a guy like first to so, kill. So, all right. Suddenly in frame, like a guy in like a business suit runs in. <laughs> so then you like you have to like just like jump over the fucking rings as they all come right, in. All right, game enjoyer. It's now time for you to kill yourself. <laughs> Hello, game. The champion. final boss is you, dude. Go if to your you bathroom. if you if you are playing this, I think you're already on the edge. It was like, crazy. Like look away from the screen right now. Look at my face. Do you still see that pattern? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I see it in the. People couldn't process what that meant back in the day, and that's why they killed themselves. Yeah, yeah. Ah! I see patterns! <laughs> is there any other footage of this game? Like, I want to see it, like, in the cabinet. This is really creepy, actually. Oh, there it is. I just don't I get bet it. you anything. It's going to suck. Bet you, I, I bet you anything that when they're like, this drove people mad. It was just, like, kids that they didn't know. Did people know what epilepsy was back then? Yeah, like, that's Oh, a good my point. God, he's having a seizure. This yeah. game is by the CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> that's why like old old guys think video games are violent because they just have memories of these games. <laughs> My son had the shakes for the most of his life. Yeah, that triggered like untreated. <laughs> so I bought him an Atari. Yeah, <laughs> to help with it to help with the shakes. <laughs> ever since I got ever since I got him the Atari, I thought the colors would calm him down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he always liked Disney movies and all these bright, beautiful colors. So. I turned this on while he slept, and as soon as he woke up, I put it right in front of his face <laughs> for three consecutive hours. You know, my son, he'd he'd do the thing where he'd foam at the mouth because he. We got to get another voice too. We've we've been doing the voice that's like this. What's a different voice for uh, the dad in, in the, the situation? 50s? Yeah. Um. Hey, son. You think that would be no? Dad. <laughs> dad. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened to you? What the fuck happened? Hello, son. I became an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a job at the spaghetti factory. Is there any footage of Poly- Polybius in a cabinet? Or is Polybius. This the- uh, yeah, well, like, externally, what did it look like? Just just search. It's like, just a gun. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It's, it's, a, a, tar- it's a, tar- a gun with a TV screen on top. <laughs> <laughs> It just, keeps pointed a, at you. it just keeps yeah. it just keeps saying, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger. <laughs> Flashing your face. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Manscaped. Tis the season for clean testicles. La 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 Our friends at Manscaped are helping you clear your driveway for safe travels this holiday season. From stocking stuffers to white elephants, Manscaped's 
products are at the top of every wish list. Manscaped's products are at the top of every wish list. Grab some crop mops for your pops or a body buffer for your holiday lover. Win this year's white elephant gift and help all the men in your life go from eggnog to nice hog this December and save 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash TMG. Yeah, I love it. I love the product. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a really good product. I yeah. use it, actually. Do you? Yes, I do. I use it on my... On my you using that big old bike? Yeah, <laughs> I do, on my white elephant. Hey, hey. Uh, Manscaped is a one-stop shop for all your holiday needs. They have the perfect gift in the Platinum Package 4.0, plus loads of little presents, perfect for stocking stuffers. <laughs> Don't let their chestnuts roast in the wrong boxers. Get them a pair of Manscaped's boxers, specially made to keep the area cool and provide holiday comfort all year round. Now that you've gifted them perfect privates, go beyond the groan with Manscaped's full-body product line. Dad got nasty nose hair. Save his life with the Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. The Shears 2.0 is their full kit for nail care with scissors, clippers, tweezers, and a file for the traveling man. Lastly, top off the stocking with the crown jewel for the family jewels. That's the Lawnmower 4.0. The electric razor's advanced skin-safe technology is a life changer and known for reducing nicks and cuts on his Santa sack. Manscaped is here to make holiday shopping a blast by giving products they'll love and make them laugh. Save 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash TMG. That's right. 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash TMG. Manscaped, the perfect gift that will be the holiday's biggest hit. I'm a little bit creeped out that we're investigating this right now. Why? Because I, I kind of feel like any sort of curse like this, you don't really fuck around with it. Is it this, That's this, such a dumb thing to say. Shut up. That was such, actually such a fucking dumb thing to say. Dude, How, wh- you not- shouldn't be messing around with this kind of stuff, guys. You don't think there's not like 0.5% Zero. of your- Zero. Your, let me Zero. finish. Percent of your brain that right now is like, what if this is real? Uh, Zero. No. Not at all. No. <laughs> My boy, AVGN, already tackled it. That's That guy and is- And he's alive and strong. That, that man is a game enjoyer. Yeah, game- no, That's champion. AVGN. Who is that? Angry video game nerd. He's like one of the quintessential. Do you, do you both actually not know AVGN? I know you of him. I never watched. Disgusted. It, no. Why? That's like a like an online legend. He's yeah. like one of the first people to like upload like fucking content to the internet to be enjoyed. Like he had his own website. Yeah, he's a game he's, champion enjoyer. Okay. Is he still? He alive? probably is. Yes, he's okay, still good. alive. Okay, good. That makes me feel better about the curse. <laughs> Fuck sakes. You know what, dude? I actually I'm so livid that you guys don't know AVGN. I know of him. Pay, I never, you I never know, pay him, respect though. where res- fucking respect is due. I wasn't that sure. type of gamer, dude. You don't have to be a gamer. You upload your little videos online. That should be enough. No, oh, all right. Well, look, <clears throat> look, look, look at that. There he is. Okay. <clears throat> James Rawls. Well, yeah, I'll ch- I'll, for sure. I'll check out his stuff after this. <laughs> well, I think. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> You know what? There's going to be some people. There might not be a, lo- a lot of people in your your crowd of enjoyers. But there's yeah, going to be I one like, or two where they're going to say, "I like you guys don't appreciate James Rolfe," and I think that's a shame. No, because I never. So if you were, guess what? Yeah, Come I like enjoying me. things like having sex. I do too. Yeah, I do too. Do you? Yeah, you don't know. Do. Angry... No, actually, I don't. I I, I hate. They the call me time. sex enjoyer. Yeah. Champion. Champion. That's yeah. what my wife calls nice. me. <laughs> nice. nice. Except you don't because you don't fuck feet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, don't even sit up here and act like you really like sex. Yeah, the most the most craziest guy. I never blink while I have sex. And it's I mean, how do you know that just doesn't mean I'm into some crazy perverse family shit? I don't I think that you want to honestly think I think what? you only do missionary. <laughs> and you cl- and you close your eyes the entire time. <laughs> close my eyes? Yeah. Your why? eyes are your eyes are this this sealed the whole time. And you're like, please be over, please be over, please be over, please be over. <laughs> I, I think when you yeah when you put your penis in, you say, you say yucky. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> slippery dippery. <laughs> oh, yucky. <laughs> Ew, it's so wet. <laughs> Mud like pit. You, like when you put your hand into like a Halloween, <laughs> yeah. like a haunted yeah. house, like yeah. thing. I think I oh, feel what eyeballs. is that? <laughs> oh, it's warm. Feels like yeah. feels like spaghetti. <laughs> Why is it warm? Your bedroom is just Halloween thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like pumpkins and stuff. <laughs> Oh, it feels like brain. <laughs> 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 Cody puts a like a like a 
like a fucking cardboard, <laughs> like the side of a box with a hole cut in it because he wants it to feel like a Halloween Jesus game. Right? <laughs> this is exactly God, how I play pinball. He puts his fingers through <laughs> that shit. He's like, "Ooh, I love this game." Ooh, yeah, put a quarter on top. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "Yay!" Where are we? What am, where am I? What were we talking about? I don't know. Well, I'm no. so I feel so lost. I'm like. Oh, we're talking like about woke arcade up. games. Oh yeah, Polybius. That's why I forgot because I just I yeah yeah we watched Polybius and we just totally brainwashed us, dude. Do they still have like a Chuck E. Cheese and stuff like that? They still have the animatronic uh, animals. I have no idea. I don't think so. Actually, I think that they retired them. I think so. Why? Let's look at some like a creepy ass like you know video of of yeah because this they this, used to scare the fuck out of me. Abandoned animatronics in an apartment. In an like apartment. Yeah. Real life horror? Secret room! <laughs> Let it rip. That's their own grammar, not mine. Oh, come on. <laughs> Cody's never seen a scary movie. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I need in there. <laughs> He's watching the corner of the, of the screen right now. <laughs> Bruh. What the fuck? Is, oh. Is this Terminator? Oh, this is, this is definitely scary. <sighs> It's this happy birthday. This really ruins it when <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Are you having fun? It's 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 just kind of it hits different when you realize the inside of an animatronic animal is just like a it's like a dune buggy. Are they going to turn on or is this just No, no it's just him, you know, it's supposed to be spooky. I would love to just be in the the room of a guy just being like there's a new place called Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. We gotta get in. This thing is red hot. Yeah, kind of thing, and then just being like, oh, I have no idea how to make a fucking robot that dances. Yeah, <sighs> I would love to talk to Chuck. You think? Could do you think we could and get a hold of him? The main robot animal yeah, Chuck in e. Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do you think we could? Hey, Chuck. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Shh. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, Holy Chuck. God. What the fuck? It's okay, Chuck baby. Fucking cheese. Oh We're so happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, who are you? you my name is Gregory Cheese. Gregory Cheese. This is my this is my living boy. What? We're Your sort of partners. Boy? We're business partners. We're life partners. He's sort of my dad. He's sort of my boyfriend. That's right. That is a complicated. That's right, buddy. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff lot of going on. He got it right. We are happy time. to be here. <laughs> We've been trying to get press for a while now. Yeah. Oh, this is, I don't think this is press. I think this is just like We're a happy conversation. to do the rounds. Do shoot us a question. Well, what do you well, got? Well, press for what? What are, what are you yeah, promoting? Yeah, what are you the doing? reunion tour. Of yeah. Chuck E. Cheese? Back out. Yeah. yeah. What, what is your guys' band's name again? What? Uh, it was, uh, let's see. It's been a while. It's been about 20, 30 years. 20, 30 you have years, not yeah. aged well. Yeah, bro. <laughs> well, I was yeah. Gonna say I, if I could just stay, make a statement right now, you look horrible. Yeah, you well, look you know, rough, man. You know, because and you come in come with him like that. Twenty years of smoking. Who, 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 also, who, the 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 small. I'm, I I hate to say child. Like I I don't know. I can't. But yeah, yeah. Bo bro, bouncing on your age. Forty two, forty three. I'm forty six. You're life. definitely not forty six. I you're, spend you're, a lot of time. You're definitely not forty. You're definitely not. I'm in my sixties. You definitely are in your sixties. You are not forty six. Well, that's what he tells seven. me. That's okay. what he tells well, me. That's a lie. He, having him this small, it's such a tiny child. Yeah. Bouncing on your knee. Wait, wait. Maybe he's from St. Louis. Maybe he's like radiated. <laughs> like, he could be. He's know. like, are you from St. Louis? You want to see me do a backflip from one of his knees to the other? Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Holy shit. There he goes. All right. That's my little guy. Sure. Your voice sounds so abhorrently different. Like I said, it's been a long time. Is and, uh, oh, wait, yo. 20 years of smoking hookah. You sound like fucking you. Mickey Rourke from The Wrestler, or where the fuck that movie was. <laughs> you guys got it. I think he has a You oddly look hey. like, are you just Mickey Rourke you know, the Wrestler? I got a sense of humor about these things. I can take it. It's funny now, but you got to throw some respect on his band's name. They played more sold out shows than Kiss, than the Foo Fighters. Like, Chuck, 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 respectfully, man, you know, just, sure. I got to ask. Yeah. Is that a stoma? Do you have a. Yeah, you know. <gasps> All that hookah, it really does work he on the, the esophagus. Hookah. He's obsessed right. with the hookah. So they had to the, the, drill a hole in my old neck. You don't have to demonstrate. I right. can oh, fuck it. Sometimes it I Check fuck the hole. Oh. I pop out this thing. 
Oh God! You want to see something cool? Smells. Oh! Oh! Smells. Oh! 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 Okay, let me pop it back in. Oh, God. We got all sorts of tricks in our arsenal. Sometimes he pegs himself with his tail. Yeah. I suck him off in the front. His cum tastes like Sprite. That's the best part. And then he'll sometimes give me a little kiss afterwards. I'll give him a little kiss afterwards. It's the sweetest thing. I'm a good boy. Sometimes he chokes me in the ticket tornado while I jerk off. And then when I come, it looks like a damn Jackson Pollock in there. It's crazy. Yeah, you see, because even though we live in a small place here in Santa Monica, or out in Santa Monica, rather, we still got room for some of our favorite games. What type of music are you guys going to be playing now that you're back out? Is it yeah, more of the same? You got, you, you, I mean, your voice is... Pop country. Pop country. Pop country. Pop country, mostly about cheese, pizza, video games, yeah. all that sort is of stuff. Is it still aimed at children, or is it... Like, yeah, but it's good for the whole family. Uh, okay. You don't have a typical pop country voice. Can you try to fit into that register of, like, a, sure, sure. an Alan Jackson or something? <clears throat> or, like, a... Well, playing down the Holy shit. Damn! Wow. Okay. He still got it. He still got it. Wow. That's Can what you, I'm saying. If I give you a line, could you sing a line? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Uh, boots on the Dirt. Honey in the Hills. I think this is a good time. Oh my God. Well, boots in the dirt and the honey in the hills. I think this is a good time. <laughs> okay. That okay. Is, All right. Chuck, you are the light of my life. Uh -oh. To my heart. I love you so much. Excuse me. You were gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you was you was just saying something real sweet. I'm sorry. I, I had a little phlegm. I had to clear out. Every time you sing, it's like the first time I met you. I know, little buddy. The first time you met, when was that? Yeah, when yeah, did you, did you, well, how did you guys meet? He's, he's six years old, Tops. So. <laughs> 44 oh, years old! I grew up in a Chuck E. Cheese that had negligent parents! Do you have Simon Birch disease? Ooh. I have Simon, I've never listen. seen that film. Hey, listen, let me answer this. He's got a little problem with, look, come here, please. He's got a problem with his endocrine system. Okay. Right? What? His endocrine system. Okay. And now I ain't a doctor. No. But one thing I do know. Is it this kid's heart wasn't affected by no endocrine disease? Let me tell you. But everything else in his little fucked up body sure was. It's really hard to tell if he's crying because his giant animatronic eyes are yeah. just staring right at us. Yeah. Well, something, don't mind the eyes. Stop but, looking at me while yeah. you say it. If you, excuse me, I'm sorry. I get real emotional about this little guy, but to answer your question. We first met in 1985. I think it was. That's he was there for an AYSO soccer game. Uh -huh. uh, champion. They had lost. Yeah. And this little guy was crying in the corner, and oh I came up. God. And, and I life. said, hey. But the best. Little buddy, what's going on? He came. There's no crying in Chuck E. Cheese. What are you thinking here? And he turned and he looked up at me, and what did you say? I said, <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you fucking Chuck E. Cheese himself? <laughs> and then my dad left. He lit up, and yeah, your dad hit the bricks. He hit the bricks. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what the deal was. I don't know, he's not some, a good guy, he's a weird guy. Him. But yeah, that was it, and then since then we've been we're absolutely inseparable. So, so how did you break it to the band when you were like, hey guys, it's... You know, they used to get in their, their fair share of bad news, you know. There were plenty of nights where I couldn't perform. And uh, they had to go home, and that was without pay. So, wow. Yeah. What would stop you from performing back in the day? Uh, too much hookah. He was oh. fucked up on hookah. Yeah. Wow. No, just I, straight hookah. Couldn't get enough of this stuff. The guy's hooked on hook. Yeah. It's crazy. There was just, just tobacco, right? Yeah, I mean, no, it's yeah, like, not sure. just, but after a certain yeah. point, it's like, it gets you, you go fucking it gets you, real you go fucking crazy on this You know, shit. I'm, a, I'm a giant rat. Uh -huh. yeah. You see, so the way that it affects me is a little bit different than my perspective. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's a rat that smells like cheese all the time. He's he's yeah. fulfilled. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's okay. Shh, I mean, calm down. I mean, oh, Chucky, oh, oh, Chuck, oh, Chuck. Calm the fuck you down. You need to calm down. Damn, I was gonna say. I have Holy to hell. His valve I'm trying to oh, God. Oh, oh, oh God. Hey. You guys want any of this? No. Oh, that's a good shit. Oh, man. See, what would I do without it's you? It's you know, exfoliant. You know, this guy's so smart. You could ask him anything. Ask well, me go anything ahead. about the world. Ask some trivia. Ask, ask me anything, anything about, about the world. The world. Current events. Current anything events. going on. Who's the president? Chuck. That's right, buddy. Chuck. Right. Oh, bro. Oh, right. oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Why, why are you growing? Uh, it's funny. Right. A yeah. animatronic uh, giant rat mm -hmm. is not the president of the United States of America. <laughs> like you guys would know. Like you guys would know. They don't know what they know. They're stuck out. Don't whisper. Don't whisper into his ear. 
I know, that's what I'm saying, Chuck. That's weird. That's what I'm saying, that's Chuck. Weird, man. Give me a little kiss right here. Give me a little kiss. Oh, don't give him a you kiss. Oh, oh, oh. You still bad. I just hate how small the kid is. Yeah. You know so that. tiny. But he no, swears, no, what, I mean. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah, I love when you What do if he that is a that tiny man? Like you're joking. I'm just annoying. I know you. I guess I'm just annoying. little fucking bitch. Hey, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus Christ. Now I forget what I am sometimes with this little guy. I'm just so sexually attracted to you. Okay. It's All crazy right. because hey, you, you know are what? my father figure Yo, and you Thanks for relax. stopping and by, when, Chuck. You know, excuse me. <laughs> he went from being just a little guy. Are you okay? Crying in my restaurant. I was lost. In the hell. I was I think scared. His back I, you know what's crazy? His, right? look, his you know, you know what's crazy? Yeah, Chuck. Oh, yeah. He's going to catch, catch on fire. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's going to catch on fire. He's, he's leaking. That's right. Yeah, see that? He's leaking. He's leaking fuel. No. Oh, Christ. I love you so much. Oh, God. Oh, dude, he's on fire. Oh, thank you. Yo, Chuck. Yo, dude, you're literally on on fire right now. Uh, that happens. Don't there, worry about that. Don't, don't worry about that. that. We just gotta get Why don't you just go take care of that? Because we're in a big prop field. Yo, you're fuck. Dude, Chuck, we gotta get dude, the you're, fuck it's out getting here. bigger, dude. Get the it's fuck out of here. Bigger, dude. You're all and it's early 23. Hey. We're going on tour, baby. See you out there. He's, sort of He's engulfed in flames. It's okay, but hey, hey. May the Lord be with you, and thank you so much for it. You're going to die. You're going to die. Wait, now you're singing. Father, Son, and the Holy Chuck. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's time to go, I guess. It's time to go. Let me hop on your Okay, bed. hop on, little buddy. There we go. You will die with him. I got to say, that was way, way different than I thought it we, was A lot be. of our guests have <laughs> pedophilic tendencies. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. When are we going to get just like a nice guy <laughs> popping out of that cornfield? No, no, Babe, babe was nice. Was he? I mean, not nice. Babe was, I mean, was he anything? Could you understand yeah. one I thing I he said? Understand, yeah. I mean, in that way, I guess he was nice because he wasn't offensive, you know? And he hit us that's with true. a lot of, woo. You know? He did have the woo. Okay, that's yeah. true. Yeah. All right, never mind. I, kind of nice. Yeah. He was, he was a good guy. Have you ever thought about how much money your parents spent on you in a Chuck E. Cheese? Did you go to Chuck E. Cheese a lot? Yeah, I did. Did you? Or yeah. like any place like it? Well, yeah, yeah, a couple I would times. say once a quarter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just refer to your life as in like a tax bracket, like a, a tax like a business quarter? quarter. Yes. Yeah. Once every okay. business quarter. Yeah. Man's making money left and right. Yeah. Money's on the mind all the time. Uh, it? Once a quarter, maybe. Yeah. That's still a lot, actually. Four times a year. Is that what yeah. your parents would say? Oh, Cody, you did great in school. It's time for your quarterly, quarterly, quarterly bonus you. just came in. It's so time I'm taking for you to Chuck E. Cheese. Quarterly we're Chuck E. Cheese. You, we're proud that you didn't have to take your business to H and R Block, and you did it yourself this year. So. For quarter three celebration, we're going back to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Damn, That's you lived in like, severance, bro. It was exactly like that. I, I would always go there just to play games. It never even really hit me to like, <laughs> until way too late at Chuck E. Cheese of like, oh damn, I can actually like, use these tickets to get shit. Mm -hmm. I was always curious, like, did you guys as kids, was your game like, I'm going to try to get as many tickets as possible? Absolutely. Okay. You always Spider, try to profit. Spider rings, inflatable uh, Hulk St you know, like mm. not figure, but just like a inflatable Incredible Hulk or whatever. All that shit. Seeing the prize, the gift shop or like the prize table area was like the, uh, especially as a kid, where it's just like all this shit means so much more to you versus when you're older. You know, yeah, it's just like that kind of optimism. Be like, I, oh, and you always aim for the big shit, and then you got to settle for the candy. Well, I never aim for the big shit because I was like, there's no way. Like all this stuff that was like the back in the day was like getting a PS2 or something like that. Yeah, and it was like fucking four billion tickets or something I'm like I probably can't get kind of true it like teaches you early on that like shit is stacked against you you know what I'm saying kind of it's kind of like a because you walk in there and you're like I know I know that this is not possible it's just here to taunt me and to get me to buy more tickets it's like an early lesson in like capitalism mm -hmm. yeah yeah I'm, tr I'm trying to think I would never even I would never even lift my eyes probably because I was short but I would never even lift my eyes that high on the back wall because it it was almost like um it was it was so far beyond even <laughs> that <laughs> it was so like far beyond like as like a possibility my eyes always just went to the top row I'm like well I'll get some candy and I'll be happy What's with the thing that. is like who, like who in the right I mean like when you like play a game you're like oh I did pretty good and you get seven tickets and you like look up and you're like oh that's cool they have a PS2 here yeah. you see that's like you know 400,000 ticks or something crazy you're like who ha like yeah. who has that? Even as a child, I'm like, who has the time? Yeah. 
<laughs> well, yeah. we know someone who does have the time. That's what I was going to say is there's this whole movement of people who uh, focus on profiting in an arcade mm. and places like Dave and Buster's and main event. They develop systems for this. Which okay. I thought was pretty interesting, and um, they were those people that, as a child, looking at that thing, they were like, "No, this is not. I'm gonna beat yeah. this, and well, they, I'm gonna get this." You're saying that he's brave, and I agree. Yeah, yeah. He sat there. He said, "The gods were looking back at him. They said, you can't have this.'" And he looked back and he said, "Yes, I can. I will." Yeah, which yes. is pretty badass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's really cool whenever you say it like that. But when you say it like a, just a, like a you know play place kind of thing. It doesn't sound as like epic, but it is awesome. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 exactly. So this is him. This is I, I guess this is probably his favorite game. I think, and this is you can just skip to him. Just uh, like what is that called? Gridiron Blitz. Gridiron, Gridiron Blitz. Iron Blitz. Yeah, just just fast forward to him right in the middle, and he's he kind of talks through, you know, how to like really uh, max out on this with like the jackpot and hitting the jackpot as far as tickets go. Watch this. Look at our man's. God damn. Yeah, dude. Like a feral raccoon. <laughs> he told us that he'll do this or he'll, he'll you know, he'll pull up on like some jocks thinking that they're going to rip through this because they were like D3 athletes or whatever. And he'll and wipe the floor. He'll wipe the floor with them and they'll buy him drinks and, you know, he'll be like, dude, buy me a drink and I'll smoke this for you. You know, I'll get you some tickets. And so he he's making it work on all angles. Oh, dude, Fast and Furious, Paul Walker, right? Fucking yeah, that game right, sucks. Please. Really? Yeah, it's not a good game. Why? It's just not good. Because he's a racing expert now. Mm. Anytime there's a racing thing, he's just like, this isn't really what. No, it's no, it's it's not even that. It's like there are, there are shitty like arcade racing games that are fun, like Rush 2049. Remember that? Oh, that's a good game. That, the only one I really, really the only one I really remember is like Pacific USA or whatever. Cruising yeah, USA. Yeah. Cruising. Or cruising USA. That was for N sixty four too, wasn't it? Yeah. God, God USA. Nice, I used to dude. play that game. <laughs> you just trying to. The only one, the only one I remember is fucking uh, Area fifty one and the cruising USA one at Air, like at like CC's Pizza. Air, Air, Area fifty one is a classic. I will play the shit out of that anytime I see it. That's like such a fun like. Yeah, it's just such a fun des- like game, but then also just in terms of design, everything. Like the live action people coming in and being like, yeah, <laughs> running out, or whatever. And then, like, a, the ugliest alien ever is just like, ah. I'd, would you, I'd always shoot that first. He was the first dude in the first level. He'd pop up in front and he'd be telling you, he'd be like, come on, I'd fucking clean every time. Every single time. How do you guys remember this shit? My childhood was just too sick. Well, because I, I went to an up down and I played Area Fifty One, <laughs> and I was like, "Dude, I haven't played this since I was a kid." <laughs> yeah, that, that's like, Area Fifty One, dude. Oh, yo, Brett, Brett, come check this shit out, dude. You know what else? He's is- doing coke in the bathroom, I think. <laughs> you know what else is great? He's getting a hand game? job in the bathroom <laughs> by himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's jacking off in the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, because I fucked his girlfriend last year and she broke up with him. Yeah. He's and such I, a pussy. Yeah. I don't want to be with her anymore because she was annoying. <laughs> Ohio State! Ohio State! Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, dude, you know what I love? At up down, there's always, without fail, some big guy, and you just see his back, and he's always doing this. <laughs> and what is it? What is he doing? He's some pl- kind of game. He's like, he's just playing knobbed. some fucking <laughs> game. Yeah, just like. And he gets up and he's sweating. He's like. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> he appears on the whole room, takes that fucking warm ass IPA that's like steaming yeah. like fresh coffee. He's like, <laughs> almost got the high score. Yeah, bro. I watched two guys. I took a picture of him because I, I just thought it was <laughs> it was funny and I'm an asshole. But I saw these two guys at Up Down <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> uh, playing N64 in the daytime. Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey what? A, a, a kid sitting right next to him playing like Gauntlet Legends, just like. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be the blue wizard or, do you want to, or the red wizard? <laughs> just Dude, don't smoke. touch the machine. I just came on it. <laughs> Dude, just sm- smoking a nine year old in Marvel versus Capcom, <laughs> and the kid has no idea that this dude's nuts are just out, just banging against the machine. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time he's screaming, he's like, <laughs> 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 The kids like, why are they screaming? Ow. 
Oh, man, just fucking. <laughs> I tell you what I don't like in all these places, though. The only the one thing I could never see again and be totally happy with what? is fucking big Jenga. Yeah. Like, you know what's cool about going to a bar and seeing a giant Jenga thing? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing good. Knocking about. it over. You ever played? Or yeah, and, like, and then it knocks over and it just disrupts the entire area. Yeah. Like, sorry, we we're playing. And they like restack it again. It's and loud it's, as fuck. Sounds like oh, a shot. Yeah, it's like, oh. fucking worst. God. And they're like, oh, dude. And, and once again, there's always a person that goes up. They're like, dude. Big Jenga. Yeah. Oh, right. They got Big Jenga. <laughs> nice. It's like the little one, but bigger. Dude, I had this one as a kid. Dude, my grandma died. Oh, she's dead. From the, jank, from the Big from Jenga. Jenga. She used to eat the pieces. She choked. <laughs> it's too bad we didn't have this. We could have killed her faster. Yeah, you she know wouldn't have I mean? been able to eat it. So we, <laughs> my game game would still be around. Nah, dude, my my grandma would be going in on this wood, dude. She'd be fucking <laughs> nah, 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 nah. housing it, like bro. A big my, piece of corn. My mom had, <laughs> my grandma had neck, dude. She could throat this fucking thing. <laughs> Anyways, did you want some from the bar, dude? Yeah, or like, I'm <laughs> yeah, a, I, you want an IPA? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. We're going to do coke in the bathroom if you guys want to join us as well. Large, l- the large games I could live without forever. Yeah. Because there's large, there's large Jenga, and then there's also large the large Connect 4. Connect 4. Yeah. yeah do you ever... Yeah, you ever played the drinking game Jenga, Jenga though? Where you like write yeah. you like write rules on each Jenga oh, thing? Oh, like maybe like once in college, and then I was like, "This is it's like fucking your pants," lame. and you pull it. Ah, oh, oh, dang it! You got to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come your pants without touching yourself. Yeah, you got to do it. Okay. <laughs> um, why are why are all these like dares and shit handwritten? <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. That's the point. Oh, I Everyone like that comes over. Well, there's you one pull that an empty it, one. You I have there on it. I have seen the one where it's like the corporate version, but it's always just like I don't know. Tell somebody a secret. Yeah, oh, I, th- yeah I thought yeah. it was what that. The fuck yeah, is we would play that yeah. once a quarter. Once a quarter. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, now Cody, you can either drink with your friends in the basement, but we get the keys, or we go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> You're like twenty, fucking twenty five. <laughs> well, dude. It, okay. Oh, Chuck, for sure. Hey, Dad, Chuck. <laughs> I will say for my 21st birthday, I went to Chuck E. Cheese and got, I ordered pizzas from Chuck E. Cheese. Damn. Because I was like, you know, this is, or I was 19. I was like, this is hilarious. Yeah. And it was just really bad. I was like, I really wish I would have just like invested the money into something else <laughs> because this pizza was really, really bad. Was it yeah. fucked up? That's the man. I don't remember. Yeah. Well, my God, Shane Dawson has brought the truth to the world. And if you guys yeah. haven't seen that conspiracy theory video. You need to go check it out. He got sued for that shit. Wait, okay, wait, no, so speaking of, wait, hold on, because if we don't got Michael, I do have to say this, you know, on the on the topic. Hey, tell of, me, dude. On the topic of money and arcades. Mm. So we actually, we talked to them before this, and he, <laughs> I want to tell the people what he told us, right? First of all, we asked him, you know, or someone on the team asked him, what would our fucking plan of attack be? And he... <laughs> He gave us like this Ocean's Eleven breakdown of the whole like Dave and Buster's run. He was like, first we're going to start it. I don't know, whatever the hell it Water was. game, yeah. 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 We're going to start it, you know, Poppy Ball, and we're just we're going to spend a quick $20 Ball. there, and you, we'll just bang it out. Boom, that would be 200 tickets right there. And then we're going to slide up over, and he had like a map, and he was pointing out the whole like path that we would take around Dave and Buster's. And he <laughs> we, we didn't really – Ask him to go into that much detail, and he just ran through the whole thing. And we were kind of like, yo, wait, we should talk about this on camera. And he just like, didn't no, stop. No, no. didn't stop. And the funniest part I is want to say it here. At yeah. the beginning, he was like, I'm not going to I'm not gonna divulge all my secrets. Like, guys, I'm not, like, don't press me because I'm not going to say it. And yeah. then he was just, okay, and we were like, so what's the plan? It. He was like, well, let me just lay it all out for you. And, and the speed at which he told us all these machines, and then by the end of it, he was like, and bam, right there, 100,000 tickets. We're, or some absurd number. I was like, "How the fuck?" And I'm like, "You could, you could just do this." He's like, "Oh yeah, a couple hours, no problem." Like there was a time where uh, every week, like it would be, it would be a down week if I didn't like buy at least two iPad Pros or win two from Dave and Buster's. Yeah, I guess I'm curious. So I'm guessing he he flips these. Yes, but no. it's like, no, he just has a shit ton of iPad. Yeah, Pros he just keeps them. Place. 
What if he's just a serial unboxer? That's how he should flip hey, it. Hey, there's big money in that on YouTube. Yeah. That's true. How much money? He must be very interested. How much money? How much money do you make do you unboxing things? <laughs> unboxing things? <laughs> Have you ever talked about that toy kid? Week. <laughs> yeah, this week. Hey guys, guys, that would actually be such a genius, like funny video, like a <laughs> like just like iPad opener, yeah. two two five or something like that. <laughs> He's like, hey guys, we do have the iPad Pro. <laughs> it's, same right? it's like every time the same delivery, same script every time. Okay, very cool. Yeah, no, it just I really love what they did with the body. And then, but then the thing is that they're gonna make more iPad Pros. Yeah, and that just evolves over time. So then it becomes like these weird chapters of like week. I mean, fucking week v- weekly videos. If you're in two iPads a week, two videos a week of the same thing. You look through the thumbnails and it's just like, oh my god, that would be all hard I- as fuck. And they all have three million views. <laughs> he just is making like, like I mean, like hundreds of thousands of dollars on just ad revenue alone. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> way, it's like, oh. it's like way easier than commentary videos. Like, yeah. like anyone who like sits there and like commentates on like you know culture and stupid shit like that. Like they have to like put in all that effort, and he just sits there and he unboxes iPad Pros that he paid himself to win. Basically, let me ask basically. you a question, Noel. Yeah. And Cody, don't answer this. Which would you like to do more? Would you like to unbox iPads on YouTube, or would you like to watch Darman videos <laughs> and comment on them? <laughs> Which would you rather do? And be honest. I would love to unbox. I would love to unbox iPad. The okay. Same iPad twice a week. Fuck yeah. I twice like a week. I've, you can't change the video. I like, dude. I like racing. What do you think racing is? That shit is just living in a loop. <laughs> That's true. It's, well, it's life or death at a That's point, true. right? Yeah, but it's still like kind of like really like like uh, it's so programmed. Like slow down, turn in. Well, yeah, yeah but the whole thing is getting the getting your nut off on like, will I beat my you know, like my personal record or whatever. That's that's thing. what I'd be doing. I'd be trying to speed run the unbox. Uh, oh, you okay. can't do that. That's, there's the, that's the flow of it. Is every video? It's like an orchestrated like. It's, a, okay, it's okay. like almost like it's like a David Dobrik vlog. They're all the same time length. Yeah, yeah. You unbox the iPad and then you shoot your friend in this chest. <laughs> you could do that. Is that what happened? Basically, no, no. Okay, you're you're right. I what I would do is I would see if I could nail a perfect time every time I did my unboxing video. You know what I'd try to do if I had no unboxing videos? Hmm. I would, over time, it'd be the same thing, but out of nowhere, I would slowly add in little things of like a backstory. Of it, like one video, you'd be like, uh, oh, wow. So even the box is nice. You hear knock on the door. Hey, blah, blah, blah. And it's like one little conversation. But then this evolves over time to where right. at the end, you open the like you're. It's like you don't even get to the box. He like just. It's just a, 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 a image of the unopened box, and you just hear a guy fucking break into the door, screaming, "Motherfucker! Where's my oh, fucking money?" Whatever. He's like, "No, oh, oh. What, And it's like this whole thing, and the video is like three hours long, and it's just silence for the most of it because something happened, and it's like the video just kept recording. Wouldn't that be does, sweet? Yeah, dude. Let's does do the this. I, does the don't iPad ever me. get reviewed? Don't touch me. Silent. No, it's, it's not about. It's, it's, Honestly, dude, f- enough. I just feel like it's unfair for the people coming to <laughs> see on, dude. the iPad get reviewed. Fuck them, dude. Fuck the viewers. Yeah, fuck the viewers. Every time. By the way, I just have to say that Michael told us some really interesting things about being what he describes as an advantage player. He kept, so he just got, are we just? Yeah, I think he's bailed. Yeah, he's for sure not pulling up. <laughs> I mean, which like, is I I the, respect that so goddamn. I, what, yeah. what I love more is that we have been on a Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> with him to prep this and he's like i'm so excited yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and, he, and like, he was he was like, he's like really eh. like prompt to that zoom call too i know i know but well no no we also have to tell him like he wouldn't um he told us his money maker is blit iron or gridiron blitz and he was like i will not i will not divulge that because because cody said he said oh, i won't tell all my secrets no, no no he very specifically said i will not tell you the trick to gridiron blitz. Yeah. And he made it seem like even if we took him to Guantanamo. Would you have pressed him today if he would have if you like would you have tried to get well, There's a to fucking it? video of him doing it. We just watched it. Yeah, but I'm sure there's something where it's like you can see the video but you don't know the magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you might see what's in front of your eyes but you totally don't you don't know how it's you don't done. Have these I, hips. I would have I, I would have asked him like what what could possibly be the trick here? Mm-mm, like no. What if you just do that? Mm-mm. 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 Ma- Michael Michael. Mm -mm. Jesus. Michael. Yeah. There has to be some, you know, because we can see you play it. So Mm -hmm. 
What type of what type of trick are we talking about mm, here? Is mm, this a mm, timing thing? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. What if it was just that? How would you respond to that? Um, I'd be like, Michael, we're gonna tell everyone your fucking address. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. I'll tell you. <laughs> you know what, what if he said this? He's like, let him come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want. I'll be yeah. ready. Yeah. <laughs> Like what? What you, you pulled up to the apartment complex or wherever the fuck he lives or something like that, and you, you just hear like, <laughs> and you're like, what is that? Yeah, as you approach his deal, what the fuck yeah. is that? Yeah, is that an insect? Fucking, you, you're such a young piece of shit, dude. Oh, what can I say? I'm 19. <laughs> I'm 19. You, you, I can believe that. Yeah. If I met you for the first time, you're like, hey, I'm Noel. I'm 19. I'd be like, okay, <laughs> I'd believe that entirely. <laughs> what would you think Cody was? 23. Am I a part of this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought you guys were. Hey, you know, to be a part of a conversation, you have to jump in at any time. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. let you know. It's fucking hard. You just it's set. You open your mouth and you just huh. that's you just jump in. Well, you just you just don't stop. I'm yeah. a chatty Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's always running his mouth. <laughs> yeah. He's just smacking like you hit your mom, mouth. dude. <laughs> like your dad hits your mom. <laughs> <laughs> the way your dad brutally assaults your mom. <laughs> stop. Not even a joke. This is real. No, it's not real. A hundred percent real. I'm I done have with this. Can I we wrap this episode up? We got fucking, we got stood up by this man. That I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not gonna lie. That actually, that that, that did hit my it, ego just that, a little bit. No, that makes like, it I, so I, funny. I, I felt that makes I, it I do so feel funny. Kind of bad. I no, so do I. I'm about like, the guy flipping fucking iPads on eBay. Didn't yeah. show up. Yeah, he looked at bo- he looked at this guy. He looked at all three of our YouTube channels. He was like two point six million, five million, ten million. Fuck these guys. It's and not I love worth, it. Not worth it's my not time. worth not worth the time. Yeah. I mean to be fair, I mean well, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck. Fuck the audience. No, that's cool. <laughs> Good man. All right, thanks for watching episode three of Me Locker. Hey, hope you enjoyed the episode about arcades. Yeah. Did you learn something? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> What a disingenuous thing to say. You don't fucking care if they learned anything. Dude, I hope that they learned a lot. Yeah? I care desperately. I I deeply care. Well, damn. Bye. Bye. (laughs) You killed it, dude.